we are just in the halfway stage as far as COVID is concerned. What is it that we can do to help sanitize the areas that we are in? Going beyond um, sanitizers and, and masks, is there something that we can actually do? Well, now there are medical devices to neutralize coronavirus and a Bengaluru organization has gained American and European Union regulators approval uh, for a particular device. It's called the Shikokan Scalene Hypercharged Corona Cannon. It's a small drum-like device. It can be fixed in offices, schools, malls, hotels, airports, or any closed area. It has been proven to be 99.9% .9 effective in neutralizing spike protein present in the virus. And lab tests show that one device can cover about 10,000 cubic meters in terms of area. Joining us now, Dr. Raja Vijay Kumar, the chairman of the Organisation Descaline, which is instrumental in actually developing this. Thanks, uh, Dr. Kumar, very much for being with us. How does this device work? Oh, yes. Thank you for uh, inviting me to your show. Uh, yeah, this device uh, is uh, uh, a physical device, works on physical principles, uh, in that... Uh, uh, you know, in physics, we have an old uh, uh, physics uh, principle that uh, there are certain metals, there are certain alloys, and when you would uh, excite them, uh, they, they produce uh, uh, photons. And when these high energy photons uh, are, uh, you know, bounced off uh, uh, bulk materials like, like everything what you find around, and the particles, uh, the suspended particles in the, in the air, they uh, eject out uh, uh, what we call it as hypercharged electrons. Uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the virus, the coronavirus, the whole family of coronavirus, they uh, have a mechanism of infectivity. They have an infectivity mechanism where they uh, basically home to one of the receptors of the host cells. And these uh, uh, cells which they hold have got a, a you know, negative... Well, Dr. Kumar, let me ask you, I, I understand what you're saying, but let me ask you a, a basic question as we try and understand the technology over here. This device uh, actually, um, you know, uh, fires particles out in an area whereby um, the virus, once it's in the air, is neutralized. That's what you're saying, right? Absolutely, it will get attenuated. The virus but gets if attenuated. If there is a person in the area, sir, if there is a person in the area who is COVID positive, uh, not I mean, they remain COVID positive. So the reason I ask that is you still need to be wearing your masks because while an area may be sanitized, uh, an individual is by no means disinfected of the virus if they have it. So therefore, everybody still would still need to wear a mask, right? See, it's like this. The, the, the device is meant for attenuation of the virus the moment the virus comes into the, into the air or on the surface. So if somebody infected comes into, for example, if I'm sitting in a room and if somebody infected comes in and I have this device operating, then the, the viral particles that, that is uh, you know, emanated by this infected person would not infect me because before it could come to me, it is attenuated. So this is what uh, uh, the laboratory tests have shown uh, that that this this device can do. How much does the <coughs> device so that's, cost? That's one thing. And, I'm, and secondly, I'm running out of time. How much does the device cost? And it's been accepted by regulators in America and the European Union, right? Absolutely, yes. It is. It has been uh, cleared by regulators uh, after it has gone through uh, a, a battery of tests. And uh, uh, the device would be very affordable uh, uh, by, by most of the population. It's not an expensive device, and it, it is to, meant to be fitted in closed environment. And it's it's uh, device to prevent uh, uh, the the spread of the virus, rather than uh, helping anybody who is already positive with the virus. It, that's it's fascinating. But but sir, I'm out of time. Quickly, how much does it cost? Uh, I think, uh, uh, as I told you, we have licensed this uh, uh, under the humanitarian right? license agreement. 
to about uh, uh, nine uh, manufacturers and the cost as i would see would be extremely affordable maybe uh, uh, around around 14 15000 rupees if i could see it uh, around that price but it will be definitely affordable to everybody all right well 14000 15000 does make it quite expensive for the large number of people sir but i understand that it is a business proposition as well but hopefully a way can be found to bring down no, these costs it is uh, it is not really because uh, the, the the material used for this purposes are uh, you know uh, are, are, are expensive but then uh, we are trying to bring down sure. to see that the quantities are improved and uh, we wanted to it to be affordable to every single all right well that's uh, a great thought person. and let's hope that happens i'm uh, interrupting because i'm completely out of time but we'll follow this very very closely sir uh, inventions like this bring us so much hope and the fact that it's credible it's been accepted by regulators it's gone through a battery of tests leads us to believe that there's certainly something there which all of us would perhaps be considering in the near future